Like most dogs, Fiona loves to walk with her owner and play at the dog park. But the eight-year-old Cocker Spaniel began to uncontrollably itch and scratch six years ago. Owner Zuli Jimenez had their veterinarian do a full blood panel to pinpoint the problems. She's allergic to chicken, barley, sweet potato. Fiona also has problems when the seasons change. So either she gets ear infections or she starts chewing her feet. And both are allergic to dust mites. She'll be sneezing, I'll be sneezing. And it's just funny because, yeah, we share a few things in common, as a matter of fact. To manage the severe allergic reactions, Fiona is on a lamb and rice diet, takes an oral immune medicine, and goes to the vet once a month to get allergy shots. But treatment options are limited. That's one reason why Jimenez signed up Fiona for the dog aging project. It's very interesting how they're looking at genetics and see how, you know, how similar are we and if we're any similar, you know, how we can help future generations understand how we age and what changes based on those markers we will have to make. Jimenez works at Purdue's College of Health and Human Sciences, where veterinary epidemiologist Audrey Rupel is a member of the nationwide research team working on the 10-year dog study. Rupel says ultimately the findings could improve the health and longevity of dogs and humans. Reporting in West Lafayette, Chris Morisivica, Star City News.